This afternoon, I beg you, anyone who has information to please come forward. It is crucial that we as a people keep our neighborhoods safe by providing information about crime. Youngstown Police Chief Carl Davis admitting help is needed to hold the people accountable in a teen's weekend murder. And tonight, Youngstown officers continue investigating the heartbreaking tragedy. Hello, I'm Dave Sass. I'm Lindsay Watson. A 15-year-old girl was gunned down at a birthday party. This was the scene around 1030 Saturday night. You can see a large police presence. Today, investigators revealed there were multiple shooters. Two groups were firing and they weren't alone. Police say the victim was shot outside a business. Investigators say there was some kind of conflict brewing and that may have led up to the shooting. Detectives are asking people to come forward with information. With hundreds of people there, there had to be people who actually watched it happen, watched it unfold, and know the parties involved. It's not snitching if you come forward to tell the police what occurred last night. A 15-year-old lost her life, and she was completely innocent. So telling, telling the police what occurred is doing the right thing, is being a good person, being a good human being. And detectives want to talk to anyone who saw something. They're also working to gather surveillance video from nearby businesses and homes and say they do have suspects. You got to take into effect who's killing our kids. It's our kids killing our kids. Community reaction tonight to the young girl's murder and increased violence. Youngstown City Council members, the mayor and police chief spoke out today about this shooting. Officials at the victim's school also expressed their grief. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier joins us live from YPD with the emotional aftermath. The Youngstown community is struggling tonight after a shooting Saturday night at a birthday party took a 15-year-old girl's life. Amaya Montserrat was identified as the victim this afternoon. It's the city's fourth homicide this year, all of which have taken the lives of young people in this community. Youngstown Councilwoman Anita Davis breaking down in tears as she called the city and community to action this afternoon. We can't just sit back here and just throw our hands up in the air and say there's nothing we can do about this. Yeah, we're going to wrap our arms around this family, but we as a community, we got to go up there and help each other to do better. We can't accept this as our normal. Balloons and flowers covered the Martha's Boulevard Tavern parking lot for 15-year-old Amaya Montserrat. Lieutenant Muhammad Awad with Youngstown Police saying when they arrived on scene after she was shot at a birthday party, many parents they called didn't even know their kids were there. Youngstown Councilman Julius Oliver urging parents to take action. We got to look at ourselves. Sometimes the best thing to do for your baby is to understand that your baby need help. And by helping your baby, you help save the lives of somebody else's baby. It's on us. Amaya was 15, a freshman at Valley Christian High School. A cheerleader who Valley Christian President Michael Pecchia says immediately made an impact on her class as the school closed today to let students grieve. Well, Amaya is not going to be sitting at her desk tomorrow. Um, and that's, that's tough for kids to process. Um, you know, we've had discussions about her locker and her seats in the classrooms. Youngstown Police Captain Jason Simon describing her as a leader as police beg for answers. And if the community wants to remember her as a leader at her young age, I think the community needs to do the right thing, step up and lead and speak to the investigators. Youngstown police saying there were dozens of witnesses in that parking lot that night that they need to come forward so that they can make an arrest in this case. Live in Youngstown, Abigail Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News.